I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back to give you all a makeup tutorial. I really like the products that I use so I'm happy to share them with you all. A bunch of these products were sent from CoverGirl including the Ultra Fine Brow Pencil in 710 Soft Brown. It's thin enough to give your brows hairline strokes so it's really natural looking and it has a brush attachment on the end. So you can brush your brows or you can brush out the product afterwards. It's a twist up pencil and it's been my go to brow product ever since I got it a few weeks ago. To define my brows I use my trusty black opal flawless concealer in O2 Honey. I love its consistency so I can blend it with my fingertips. Now I have the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer Pen in medium deep I believe. I don't have the packaging anymore but I believe it's medium deep. I like this concealer for a highlight but it's very liquidy so I like to let it dry a bit before I blend it out to make sure that I get good coverage. So that's a tip if you're using a liquid product and you want it to give more coverage let it dry a bit on whatever area you want more coverage and then blend it once it dries out a bit. Don't let it dry too much or else you can't work with it, but let it dry out a bit. Now I'm using the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in Macau and I apply it with a foundation brush. Now normally I apply foundation before concealer, but I forgot. <laughs> and actually I wasn't going to wear foundation at all in this video, but I changed my mind last minute. And this is one of my favorite foundations. It's not too heavy. And I can achieve a dewy or matte finish with this foundation pretty easily. Now I'm setting my highlight with Sasha setting powder in Buttercup. This is actually my first time using this setting powder so let me know your thoughts below on the finish. But I like it so much so far. Definitely gives a flawless finish without flashback in photography. So if you're taking pictures with flash, you don't have to worry about looking powdery under your eyes or wherever you use it. But yeah, I use the excess and dust it on the rest of my face to mattify my entire face. It's finally getting warmer so I want a matte finish because I know my face is going to get oily regardless. I was pleasantly surprised by the CoverGirl Lid Lockup, okay? That's the eyeshadow primer I'm using. This is my first time using it and it's a bit tacky which I've never experienced before using eyeshadow primer. But I realized how important that is because it helps the eyeshadow stick to your lid. I didn't get any fallout, which I normally get whenever I apply eyeshadow. But I didn't get any fallout this time, so I was very pleased by that. And it definitely helped the pigment look more vibrant, even though I'm using neutral colors. So, definitely 5 stars for CoverGirl's Lid Lockup. That's the eyeshadow primer. As for the eyeshadow, I use the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette, Palette Ombre. The palette has mostly neutrals with mostly muted shimmery shades with some matte shades. These colors blended pretty well. I'm pleased with this, with this palette. I'll definitely be going to it very often if I want a neutral look. Now I typically don't wear liquid liner because it's hard to fix if you mess up, at least to me. And I usually go for pencils or gels or pomades, but it's definitely quicker if you use a liquid eyeliner and when you know what you're doing. And by the way, my eyelashes are really curly, so it's kind of hard for me to get, you know, underneath the curls. So that's why, that's another reason why I have difficulty using liquid liners. But um, I was patient and I took my time and I was able to achieve my wings. I'm happy with them, although they're not twins. My wings are not twins, but they are sisters, okay? As long as they're related, it's alright. And by the way, this was the CoverGirl Liquid Liner in 325. Then, I used CoverGirl's Peacock Flare Waterproof Mascara. I like this mascara a lot. The brush is full and thick, so it was a bit difficult to get the hang of it. I'm not typically used to using brushes that size, but I was able to maneuver it. I did get a little messy on my my lids but I cleaned it up afterwards and this is a waterproof mascara so you know you want to be patient with removing your mascara when it's waterproof or else you may lose your lashes so heads up now I use Avon True Color Moonlit Highlighting Powder 
I love this highlighter. It's buildable and perfect for darker skin tones like olive skin and darker. So this has been my go-to ever since I got it. So I've been using it for a couple months. I love it. Avon, who knew? Who knew? Time for my lip color. I used CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte in 320 Back Talk. And I used that for the darker shade of my ombre. Then I used CoverGirl's Queen Major Shade in Q120 Rebel. This is one of my favorite lip combos. I love the ombre. I love to ombre my lipsticks because I think it's more flattering for my lip size and skin tone. So whenever you see me in lipsticks, especially matte lipsticks, most likely you're seeing me doing some sort of ombre effect. Then I used the 4-in-1 Blush Book by Pure. I believe that's how you pronounce it, P-U-R. This is the most highly pigmented blush I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> you can use it as an eyeshadow, and I may just do that in a separate video because I love this, you know? You wanna be very careful how much you're using because you don't want to look clownish. Just beware, it's very pigmented. Lastly, I used CoverGirl's Look Lock Up, which is an all day setting mist to complete this look, and that's it. Let me know your thoughts below and if you have any questions about the products, feel free to ask. Also check the description box below for the list of products I used. Thanks for watching. Love, light, and locks.